seems from the bottom of a pond, they were a colony of insects. And every now and then they found one among the water bugs, climbed up the lily stalk, went to the surface of the pond and disappeared. They really didn't know what was happening. So they came to a solemn pledge. The next one amongst us who goes up to the pond should return back and tell the rest of us what has happened to us. We promised they took a pledge. As providence would have it, the very water bug which offered the suggestion found itself climbing the lily stalk and going to the surface. It reached the top of the pond and it rested on that lily leaves on the surface of water. And it underwent a process of metamorphosis and eventually it became a dragonfly. It flapped its wings and started flying, truly feeling on top of the world. Every now and then the dragonfly will come and rest on that lily leaves. And during one of its resting phases, it looked down to see at the bottom there were a colony of water bugs. Only then it occurred to the dragonfly, I have a promise to keep. I have to go back and tell them what has happened to me. So it immediately took off from the lily pad, just touched the surface of water. It again flew back into the skies, darted around another time, came and rested on one of those lily pads. It seems that dragonfly had four profound realizations. And I don't think they were just the realizations of a dragonfly. It represents all of us. The first and foremost realization the dragonfly had was, now that I have become a dragonfly, even if I want, I can't go back from where I have come. Transformation is transformation. That's what the word transformation means. Transformation. Transcending the old formation of who I was in the past to becoming what I can be in the future, transcending the old formation into the new. That's transformation. Transformation is transformation only when my own past looks like someone else's past. Now that I have become a dragonfly, even if I want, I cannot go back from where I have come. As you keep growing in life, as you keep becoming in life, as you keep evolving in life, Without your willingness to let go of the past, of what you were. And renewing your perception of what you can be. An entire life will become a life of repetition, imposition. Repeating my yesterdays into todays and repeating my todays into the tomorrow. Do not define yourself by what you were in the past. Define yourself by the potential that you have today and what can manifest out of your potential in the future. Our future is not equivalent to our past. We could have been a nobody in life for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. If Christ made his first sermon at 30, Prophet heard the call of Allah at 40. Colonel Sanders created Kentucky Chicken when he was 65. There are innumerable people in the world who woke up late in life and made their awakening count. Renew the perception you have about yourself. There is no point in being frustrated. Rajan, I have changed a lot, but others are not recognizing the change in me. Simple. I can understand the inadequacy and immaturity of the world that they don't renew their perception about you. But if you don't renew your perception about yourself, you have already become a butterfly. Why are you still crawling like a caterpillar? You are already a dragonfly. Why are you still living like a water bug? The first realization the dragonfly had was, now that I have become a dragonfly, even if I want, I cannot go back from where I have come. The second realization, and to me that's very profound, it said, even if somehow I go back, those water bugs will no more recognize me in my new form. This is a price you have to pay for going up in life. Some of your old world cannot relate to you. Take it from me. The friends of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi 
rarely can continue to be the friends of Mahatma Gandhi because they can't understand what has happened to him. No less than Swami Vivekananda, so beautifully put it. An ant will never understand the might of an elephant. It takes a lion to understand an elephant. Because the ant and the elephant are two different worlds. So sometimes, instead of getting frustrated, the world around you does not understand you. Except that is the reality. The friends of Narendra cannot be the friends of Swami Vivekananda. Those who walked around with Siddhartha will not even know how to walk around with Buddha. The water bugs will not know how to relate to a dragonfly. Any one of you keeps growing, keeps becoming, keeps evolving, will face this predicament in life that you are being misunderstood by others. Any man who walks his life ahead of his time is sure to be misunderstood by the rest of the world. Even if I somehow go back, they will no more recognize me in my new form. The third realization it had, if I had not chosen to give up the comfort of being an insect, I would have never become a dragonfly. As long as you continue to live your life in the contentment and satisfaction of your existing comfort zone, unless you have the courage to break open your comfort zone, you will continue to remain a water bug when you have the potential to be a dragonfly. This is where again renewing your perception comes in. You have to stop seeing yourself as a water bug and start seeing yourself as you can be somebody who can become a dragonfly. See, it's like this. Even if nobody in the world believes you, but if you believe in yourself, you will still make it in life. Even if everybody believes you, but if you don't believe in yourself, even he cannot help you in life. So what is important is not how the world sees you. What is important is how you see yourself. And without you renewing your perception of how you see yourself, you will not be able to architect a new future for yourself. Of course it asks this important question. So what do I do? After all, I came from there. I just need to forsake them. No, it had a brilliant fourth realization. It said, if I keep flying as a dragonfly, one day some of those water bugs will get inspired by the life I live and they will also become a dragonfly. The responsibility of every person who makes it in life is to be a worthy role model to those who are not yet. And looking at your life, one day they will be inspired and aspire to become a dragonfly. So let me be an inspiration to all of them. Their time will come. And when they become a dragonfly for the first time, they will understand what has happened to me.